So uh, welcome everybody to another Outdoor Lifestyle Magazine Zoom podcast interview. Uh, we love doing, doing these interviews with designers, construction people, manufacturers, um, and some great, great and very talented landscape construction companies. And I'm really happy to have on our call today, Eddie Gonzalez of Green Scene Landscaping, uh, based in Mississauga. And we're going to hear all about Eddie's business and stay tuned until towards the end of the video um and we have a nice some nice uh, a nice overview of, of, of a project he completed him is a very talented team completed and uh, eddie will walk us through that and tell us about the different aspects of it so without further ado uh, hello eddie and welcome to the call hi alan how you doing how are you doing good good so it's uh it's it's uh, i'm i'm sure i'm 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 correct in saying it's looking like a, a pretty busy year for, for everybody in the landscape construction sector. Absolutely. Uh, things haven't really slowed down from last year. Um, a lot of carryover from last year, you know, with, um, with the whole shutdown stuff, people missed out on the opportunity. And we only have, you know, a short period of time to work with in the season, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, just, just in general, it's been really, really busy it's only january but uh we're, we're we're going a little bit nuts we were you know thankfully the weather held up when we uh got in some more um projects towards the end of the year last year in december uh did take the christmas break but as of the i think january like the new year's was over the weekend the monday we were back in the office designing yes kind of some quotes and you know absolutely before you eddie tell us a bit, a bit about your company um what you do, kind of what geography, where, where you service, but especially the range of services you provide. Because I just just from from knowing your company a little bit, you do have quite a, a, a you know a, a broad array of solutions. You're not just a one trick pony. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I started the company in 2010. I want to say like full fledged. Um, I started in 2010, and um, you know, as 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 we've uh, continued in industry, our services have developed uh, and have actually expanded with uh, the demand. So, uh, you know, we're now a full landscape design and build firm where we do multi multifaceted uh, projects. Uh, we're not just you know uh, interlock installers. Uh, we do anything from a simple backyard patio to a front porch and driveway all the way up to a full-blown um, outdoor living space, which is the big trend now. We're basically, um, you know, any, uh, we do swimming pools, uh, concrete work, uh, landscape carpentry, uh, almost all of that we do in-house. We do have um, some specialty trades, obviously, that we work with, electricians, gas guys. Yes, yes of course. Stuff like that. Uh, sometimes we collaborate with pool companies a lot, uh, even right. though we install our own pools, we actually do a lot of work with pool companies because they're so busy and their demand is uh, jumped a thousand percent. Yes, yes, so, definitely. Exactly. So they can't keep up. So they'll put in a couple pools. We'll come in and do all the landscaping and everything. That, that's really nice. Everybody wants a pool these days, right? That's right. That's right. And um, so that, that that's the biggest thing is, you know, um, we, we gear ourselves through, like I said, from anything, a smaller project all the way up to like a really big, large, you know, uh, permit uh, projects with permits. Yes. yes. So and decking as well, right? I, I, I did see that, you know, uh, you, yes. you, you have board working capabilities yourself. Absolutely. Yes. We have in-house carpentry that we do, again, anything from a simple deck, whether it's, uh, you know, a PVC deck, um, cedar deck, um, pergolas, uh, all the way to like cabanas, the cabana, some of the cabanas we've done and are working on for this year have, you know, change rooms, uh, showers, toilets. It's a oh. whole uh, shebang now um, where we basically, you know, try to do something like that. Yeah. It, a lot of it is an extension of the home now, right? Yes. Yes. Especially with people staying home now, yes. there's definitely a lot more of a want for an out there, outdoor covered uh, space. Yes, yes, we're definitely seeing that trend our, ourselves in the market. Um, I mean, like I said, in terms of the construction season, that kind of goes in hand in hand with um, enjoying it, right? So in yes. terms of the time, 
you know, our, 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 we don't have, uh, you know, summer all, all yes. year. Round. Yes. So, yes. So basically, um, it's just for prolonging and actually starting it earlier too, right? Yes. Uh, sometimes in May, it's a bit chilly, but if you have yep. a fire pit going, got it. You know, you obviously extend it. So, so tell us a little bit about, um, you know, why, why your design and build, you know, there's a lot of companies. So some of these companies are pure design. They're just designers and they want to design. They don't want to get into the build. Um, they, they'll just work with, you know, trusted partners type of thing. And then there's other companies just, just really, they kind of want to build and be handed a set of plans uh, that's signed off on. So what's the advantages and, you know, for, for you guys, you're, you're literally a one-stop shop, you know, apart uh, from having a gas fitter on, on, you know, right. on, on payroll, which you don't need, you, you've got, you've got all of the competencies there. So what's, what, how, what advantages does that give you? Well, the advantage that I see with that is we actually get a lot of input on the design and we kind of share our thoughts with the homeowner oh, okay. and good point. Kind of say, well, we think this is how it would look nicer. This is kind of what works better with your layout. In terms you know, of the space, the use of space right. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, um, it's good to be uh, to get in on, uh, on the ground level when, gotcha. when somebody's designing like a big scale project. Gotcha rather than coming in later and then you kind of that's can't right. really it's harder to kind of influence the the the, the ideas that's of the design right. and, and don't, don't get me wrong we do a lot of um either side of the spectrum sometimes we're handed plans already yeah of course and you know we just kind of build off of the plans i mean sometimes there's adjustments sometimes there's not but the biggest thing is like i said we get to put our input on it because at the end of the day when it's built it represents us and I like that. I like that. Yes. You know, I tell the homeowner yes. my ideas, how I would build it, um, where I would put certain things and stuff like that. So yes. that's the advantage. Um, yes. Don't get me wrong. I, as the years have passed uh, in the industry, uh, I've been working more closely with designers. Yes. And we have our own now. And basically that's kind of, um, that's kind of how it's worked out. Right. Yeah. Like, um, a set of plans is very important for a large scale job, even a small scale job. It just helps the homeowner see what. Yeah, they're doing. absolutely. I think I think that's a really a good bit of advice actually for anybody. So so tell us a little bit about um you know why did you get into the how did you find yourself in this business? Did you work for somebody before? So how did you get into how did you set up green green scene landscaping and why? So basically, um, I was going to university and my first year of university and obviously to pay for university i had to get a, a well-paying summer job yep um and i fell into landscaping so i was working with somebody and uh throughout the years of university uh i was doing that and i really liked it i really really did like it. i like worked in i like working outdoors i like working with my hands i like seeing the finished product so that was all I thought that all attracted me. So after I finished university, I went uh, into my field uh, for a couple of years and still worked uh, part time with uh, the company. And uh, after a while, I kind of decided to do it full time. And uh, that's kind of what I did. I worked in the industry for about six years for the company. And at one point, I, I don't remember exactly how it hit me, but I said, maybe I should try this on my own. Yeah. So and you just evol evolved over time and just. That's right. I didn't do it. I didn't jump into it right away. Yeah. I did kind of did take a little bit more cautious approach yep. and, because I didn't know much of the business side of it, exactly. um, but I did know how to build and I love building yep. and you know, that passion that I kind of figured that passion would bring, uh, would carry me through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it did. <laughs> Right. And uh, that's basically how I got into it. Like I said, it was a bit of a fluke. I was looking for a job yeah. to help pay bills and I kind of just fell in love with it. Do you, do you still, um, you know, do you go out on site now? Like what's the mix in your kind of role where you're running the company? So how, how does that manifest itself in your, in your day to day? Yeah. I mean, as the company has grown, um, I've been on site less. Yeah. Um, I still love to build. I still love to go around. I think last year, um, because we were so busy, um, I spent probably the least amount of time on site, but it was just, like I said, I needed to be doing a lot of the back end stuff, yes. right? Like selling, the, yes. organizing the planning. Product, and again, product and stuff like that. That's right. challenging, right? That's right. And uh, uh, actually last year was um, a turning point year for myself and for the company because uh, a longtime friend 
and also colleague in the industry um finally joined forces with us so i brought him in as a partner oh awesome and with that i mean we both have like crazy amount of experience he's probably have more than me and um things have just blown up Amazing. Since then. this is one of the jobs that again it's not a huge i mean we did do the front and the back yes uh, that made the project bigger but the backyard like you mentioned wasn't big but it's one of my favorite projects in the yep. way it was designed and how everything just flows and how yep. the space just looks uh way bigger than it was awesome let me uh let me just play this I just uh Nice fire pit. So the, for the front, um, we did uh, interlock driveway, but it actually sits on um, a drag pad concrete base. Mm. So, you know, one of the things that a lot of people are hesitant to do interlock on a driveway is when they get like tire ruts in yes. their interlock. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I've done the traditional installs plenty of years and I haven't had any problems. Again, everything comes down to installation. Yes. Um, uh, and everything like that, but this homeowner just wanted to double, uh, I guess, reinforce the fact that he never, he's not moving and gotcha. he didn't want anything to move or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so we did a, uh, it, the concrete base comes out of a cement truck. Yep. Uh, it's just, not, um, doesn't have as much, uh, water volume in it. So it's more of a dry pack, but we would install it like a traditional gotcha. aggregate base, yep. but it gets really solid, like concrete. So, yeah, yeah. So, so we have, uh, so we have a, um, a project, um, which we have some images here. I'm just going to pull up on screen. You used, um, artificial turf on this particular job. Correct. correct. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. That's it. We're seeing, uh, we're seeing a bit of that. Uh, yeah. So again, uh, one of the biggest things with, um, you know, backyards, uh, people want low maintenance, right? Yes. Everybody's busy. I mean, this whole, uh, lockdown stuff has, you know, caused us to slow down a little bit. But everybody's busy. They work, kids, family. They don't even want to be cutting the grass, yeah. right? Uh, and with this one, um, it, you know, with the different elevations, it'd be hard to bring a, a lawnmower to the back anyways. Right. So we did it with artificial turf. If they have a dog, the dog loves it. <laughs> and you know, it's an option that we give a lot of our homeowners who's like, Oh, but is there anything else besides grass? Can we, I don't want to cut the grass. Well, and they might not want, uh, and they might not want cutting pavers, they don't want pavers and concrete everywhere. They still want that. Bit exactly. of it, it, you know, that's one of the things like basically we install and we sell stone, but even for us and our designs, there's a limit, right? There's a limit. I, I, I wouldn't do this whole job in stone just because it wouldn't look as nice. You want a little Got bit it. of contrast. You want a little Got bit it. of greenery. Yeah, if they're, absolutely. Not doing, if they're not doing real grass, you still want that green color pop yes. uh, the contrast. Yes, definitely, definitely. So yeah, so I'll just I'll just kind of go through the, the images. So so this is um. So this is a uh, I'll just go flick a couple of images there. So this is both sides, or just two two different angles of that kind of yeah. seating area. It's really beautiful. So what's what's what was the plan here? What was the idea here? So the idea here was um, it was a little bit difficult. If you can see how challenging it is, because yes, the grade drops so much yes. that we basically had to build a retaining wall almost three feet from the back end. Yes. But on the front end, you really only see it about 18 inches. Gotcha. Right. And 18 inches is a good height for a seat, for a seat wall. So that's gotcha. additional seating. Oh, yeah. Without, yeah. Without any furniture. Nice. Right. So that kind of helps. And yeah. that area, uh, again, they wanted to make that their their main hangout. Yes. Beautiful. Right. So, and that's obviously a gas, it's a gas for a pit. Yes. So we had our gas guy come. Well, we yeah. dug the trench and our gas guy came and connected the, did Beautiful. all the, the gas hookups and connected the unit beautiful what's that uh is that is that 
uh, the decking on this job? Uh, is that decking? Is that pay- what yes. is that on that particular? Um... So on the on, on the the way again the way this was designed is um, in terms of the levels, it's uh, more cost effective to do the levels uh, with a deck as yes. opposed to stone. Because once you yeah. get into stone, you got to build footings. Yes, it gets a bit more expensive. So the top was always um, planned to be uh, uh, decking. Yes. And when we were choosing the interlock pavers for the bottom uh, uh, patio, basically the homeowner didn't want it to look out of place. Ah, right. So there was, so there was this one product that's supposed to mimic uh, wood. Gotcha. And it was the first time using it for us. And it wasn't a bad product. It was a good product. And it went really well. Um, and when you see the product, the uh, project in person it, it goes really well with uh, the pvc decking that we did there as well it colors sure were nice it does. yeah the it colors really were nice. nice and uh, the textures were very similar even though yeah. one's a pvc and then one's a stone yes it, the textures are really nice and the homeowners are really happy with it yeah so, sure. so then you so then you've got that that lovely seating area and you got as you said a lot of seats because of that 18 inch wall which is kind of a really good idea as well for it when you're entertaining after this covid goes away and then you've got another little kind of deck area you, you can move up into with the hot tub that's right so um again the way we designed it the top part they kind of wanted just like a small little bistro set maybe a small couch there you go and um where they can barbecue so the barbecue we put it off to the side and then there they can just come out in the morning have a coffee and you know they're really close to the door very nice and in the winter time when they use the hot tub again it's only a couple steps down from their main door and they can go into the hot tub and you know it was a bit challenging to incorporate the hot tub to make it make it uh, as nice as possible but i think it came out really well I can see that you've got, you know, extensive backyard lighting around this project. You get your step oh, lights there. Yeah, lights, 100, lights everywhere. 100%. We do. I like to incorporate lighting a lot. I mean, some of the, the newer homes don't have a lot of lighting. This was an older home and it still didn't have a lot of lighting in the back. You know, they usually have the one fixture by the door. Yep. So, I mean, realistically, if you're going to invest in a project yep. and a usable space, you also want to invest in some lighting. Absolutely. Right. So, and everything we do, not everything, because we can do it hardwire, but everything we do is like a low voltage. Yes. So it's very easy. There's no maintenance to it. Um, and, you know, there's a, a different array of fixtures where there, there's under cap ones like that. Yes. Um, on the tree itself. Yes. There, um, it was uh, an up light. Yes. That one there. Right? Yes. So, yes. I mean, there's, we, we can do pretty much anything it's with beautiful. Up- interest as well for people just to see and i can see as well just to kind of to to to, to finish it off but you, you if people are watching this you do have to appreciate there's a there's a decent slope there there's a decent the, the grade like we're going to runs uh, right down to the back of the slope you know going right down so that's just kind of challenging and um, just making sure everything's plumb and everything's right and that's again that's experience in professional companies right a hundred percent. Again, it comes down to planning, right? I mean, literally before we, we break ground, I, I, and after we demoed some of the, the, the old decking and patio that was there, I think we, you know, shot the grades and reconfirmed yeah. the grade like three or four times. I mean, it's, it's going both ways there. It's going for like from right to left and it's going from front to back. <laughs> so you got, you got multiple, that's, that's, th- these are the things, you know, if, if, if we can ever give any advice to people is, is these are the things you just, you just, you know, you just need professionals and just make sure they're professional, reputable companies with portfolio work. And, and that, ex- as you said, that experience um, to to basically um, just make sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. Well, Eddie, it's been am- amazing talking to you. And I'm sure um, people watching this will, will um, you know, be really kind of, you know, fascinated with your work. It's it's uh, that, that particular project, as I said, it's great. Um, to, it was great to get the overview and hear your thoughts on, on how it came together. Um, but I would encourage people to definitely check out your social media. Um, some some great great content there, um, and um, uh, they can they can they can reach you as well. Uh, if anybody wants to reach out, not that you're available next week to do a job, but you're always open to a conversation. Uh, Absolutely. And and I, and, I, and I think as well, whenever you want to get your job done, uh, you know, public, um, you still have to start somewhere. So you got to get your design done, and it's a process, right? Oh, hundred percent. And just to kind of touch on something that we were talking about earlier, um, we still work with a lot of designers. So if any designers are out there listening yes. and you have any projects for us, send us the, send us the drawings. Gotcha. We'll be happy to 
your quote. That's, that's great to know. Um, it's great even to though know. we do our own stuff, we always have, you know, we always want to expand our collaborations with yeah. other people. In the Good partners, right? Good partners help you help you grow. Yeah, and I think the other, the other aspect of this industry is, you know, a designer can work from anywhere, but they they could be, you know, creating designs for people anywhere in the GTA, and they certainly need good partners in in different areas. So I think that's that's a really good shout out. Well, I want to thank you for uh, for the, the interview. It's been amazing, and uh, stay safe out there. Uh, keep doing that great work. Keep sharing it with us, and uh, we'll we'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah, you as well. Thank you for having awesome. us. Take care. Thanks, Eddie. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye.